Hello everyone and welcome to a new in and out video where I share everything that I have got or bought and everything that I have decluttered during the past month. This time it's about June and I'm gonna link you the playlist of all the other months up here if you're interested to see them and I'd say let's get started with the stuff that I've decluttered. So I finally finished reading this book. Um, it's like Wild Swans from Yong Chang. And I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. I learned so much about Chinese history and it was just also a really, really good story of her like great grandmother, grandmother, her mother and her. Um, yeah, how they, how they lived in China, what kind of difficulties they had to face and like the beautiful and the sad and the horrible and the interesting stuff. Um, I can highly recommend it. I think it's well written and it's from a person, like it's a first hand, uh, something a person um, lived through and the stories of her ancestors. So yeah, I'm gonna link you the Goodreads page of this book down below in the description. And now I'm gonna declutter it and bring it to a public bookshelf again so that somebody else can enjoy it. And then the next thing I've decluttered is a pair of underwear because it just is falling apart. It has like a big hole here and another one here. So it's it's just, it doesn't work out anymore. Um, and I think it's like the last one. I had six of these and I think after, I think I bought them in 2018. So four years, after four years, they're all done and I can't wear them anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we're moving on to the next thing that I've decluttered and I've not like really decluttered it, but it's this sweater. And I think I talked about it last time as well. It just um, shrunk in the laundry. That's like one part of the problem. And the other part of the problem is just that it's like falling apart here at the cuffs and it has increasingly big holes in the armpits. And they are so big that it's impossible to like fix them because it's just there, there's no fabric that I could use to fix them. But instead of like throwing it away um, or recycling it, I've decided to wash it again, of course, and then use the fabric for something else. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna keep the fabric because I think I, I like, I like the color, like big parts of the fabric are still great and so I'm sure I can make something out of it. Somebody suggested I make like a pouch or something and I think that idea isn't bad. But maybe, you know, a hat is something else I thought. Maybe gloves would be possible as, as well, but just not like knitted, but sewn together. We'll see. But I decided to like keep it to make sure that I can use this beautiful cashmere fabric for something else because before it's like wasted. And actually that's been all the things that I have decluttered because of course, after living a minimalist life for so, so long, like six and a half years, there's just not that much that I like want to declutter because I've already decluttered everything. So I, I, I like it this way because of course books, if I get them out of a public bookshelf and I bring them back to a public bookshelf, that's like a circle of thing that works pretty well. And hopefully for like, 100 times. I don't know if other people do it the same way or if other people take the books from public bookshelves and like keep those forever. I don't care, but I do it this way that I get books from there and bring them back there. So I just like borrow them for a, for a short time. With these, it's just worn out things and that's something that's gonna happen for my entire life, of course. But for the part of this video, talking about the things that have come into my life, I want to excitedly announce that nothing has come into my life in the past month. So in June, there was just nothing. I, I bought nothing, I got nothing for free. I didn't pick up any things anywhere or got it as a gift. So nothing has come into my life in June. But instead of like cutting the video short and ending it here, I do want to talk a bit about it. And I do have to say, I'm actually kind of surprised that it has taken me, I think about nine months of doing these in and out videos before actually having a month where nothing has come into my life. And I think that's also the, the wonderful thing about doing these and being very intentional that we actually realize how much stuff is still coming into our lives. So I realized from all of these videos that I get quite a bit of like gifted items, gifted sustainable fashion from brands. And I'm so, so grateful 
for this opportunity and that I can get these and work with these brands and have these items as part of my minimalist wardrobe. Now, I do have to say that maybe there is one or two items that were not like so important that I wouldn't have bought without my own money. So it could be that, you know, a bit more things have come into my life during the past almost year than there would have if I just would have bought things, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But in general, it just is amazing to see that even though I've been living a minimalist life for so long and I try to be very intentional with buying things, I still end up having stuff every single month that comes into my life. And so it's good to see that there's finally a month where there's just nothing because that's kind of what I would have thought about in the past. Like, oh, when I'm a minimalist and when I have like established my minimalist lifestyle and everything I need, then nothing has to come into my life, except for again, maybe if things break. So I'm just also curious to see how this is going to develop. If there will be other months soon where there's nothing coming into my life, if there will be months, oh, there was like, I think March, where nothing, where I decluttered nothing. And I don't really want to like judge myself because I try to be intentional and it's not like I'm forcing myself to buy or declutter things. It's also not that I'm forcing myself like to not buy anything, to have a month without something coming into my life. Like I'm not on a full on shopping ban or anything like that. I just think it's like interesting to see. And I would also really like to know how this is in your life if, there are like extended periods of times where you buy nothing, where nothing comes into your life. Um, if there are extended periods of time where you clutter nothing, even though you, you are a minimalist. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. I would be really interested in knowing that. And honestly, I also have to say that at the beginning of the month, I usually have no idea how this video is going to look at the end of the month, how much will have come into my life and how much I will have decluttered because a lot of things are like kind of surprises for me as well. Um, you know, sometimes something breaks and I have to exchange it or I see something somewhere and I buy it. Um, so it's really interesting to see. And I think... Uh, it's more important to kind of be intentional in general and just see what happens and observe and learn and reflect on these things instead of trying to control myself too much um, beforehand because I really don't know what will happen with my life, what I'll need, what will break, what I'll like declutter and so this is what's been happening and I'm really excited to see where it's like leading the next few months. Um, how much I'll declutter, how much I'll bring into my life. And now I'm done for today. Now this is the end of the video, but I do want to link you to another video and I'm actually gonna link you to the video um, where I talk about things I wish I knew about decluttering my wardrobe. And I think they can be really helpful for you if you're still in the journey or want to begin it or even are a pro at decluttering your wardrobe. So please check out this video here and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.